stream with Mod Mark. You said you were going to be back. I did. Ready. Answer any questions. Well, so, within limits. So but last time, what happened was I did a Q&A with Mod Mark, took your guys' questions off the forums. We took some in the chat, but it overran a little bit, and there was loads more to get through. And he wanted to do a, a Q&A where we ask questions purely from the chat and from Twitter as well. So, um, you know, we have nothing in front of us. I've got a, I've got a prompt down here, so I'm going to get some of your guys' questions from the chat. Um, but feel free to start asking away from right now. And um, we're also going to be using the Twitter hashtag RSTV. So that's hashtag RSTV. And you can send questions through on there. Do you want to give a little bit of background about what kind of questions you're after, or will you answer any? Um, well, you know, anything really. Um, RuneScape is the focus, obviously. Um, anything about the past, the present, the future, anything about law, anything about gameplay, anything about, you know, things that we've done, things that you'd like us to do. Um, really, you know, it's, I'm, I'm happy to answer anything at all. Okay, fair. So they, that's the kind of your brief anything on on runescape and uh, mainly like content side and um, i know most people know who you are mark everyone pretty much knows who you are <laughs> do you want to go over just exactly what you do do so they know where this kind of ties in and um, what you can make okay these? well so i'm the design director for the company for the company for runescape um, which basically means i help to shape all of the decisions that we make of what's going on in the game what content we work on in the future uh, and you know, a lot of the key decisions are, are passed by me, and then I, I get involved with uh, giving feedback on the projects as they're being created. Um, try and uh, work with the developers, uh, designers, testers, audio, graphics, anyone really, um, in whatever way I can do to help um, improve the quality of the products when we launch it. Cool. So the first question I've seen come through is asking about sleeping bags. Oh my can goodness. we ever see sleep? I, I thought I'd bring this one out because it was quite interesting. Can we ever see sleeping bags back in RuneScape? Can um, you explain where they come from? Uh, I'm so guessing you know. Sleeping it, bags is a very well, strange thing that we it's added a, a long, classic. long time ago. Yeah, so yeah, back in Classic, uh, which was we kind of introduced a fatigue system. It was a way of combating bots at the time. Um, it's not something that we need to really do now, so I don't see a, a real reason why we would need to bring it back. Yeah, because we don't have the fatigue. So there's no real reason no, for it. and then we have nice resting systems and things like that, yep. and your agility. Yeah, your buffs made a few years back, which means you, you know when you run out of run, it's it's, it's not really not anything to do so. with that. It's more to do with you know I, I'm much more confident with the anti-bot systems that we have in place now, yep. and uh, we don't really need anything like uh, introducing the old fatigue back into the game. And the next one came up was about reworking the max slash comp capes. Uh huh. I still think they look cool. Apparently, someone would like them to be reworked. I don't know if we've mentioned that in the past. We've been up for a quite a while now. Um, there's, we've had quite a lot of conversations recently about the comp cape, the trimmed comp cape, um, and new looks for capes in general. Um, we've had, we've even had some conversations about the requirements that are there, and uh, you know what we intend to do in the future. You know, we we really want the the comp cape to be something that people really aspire to to get. We know that lots of people have got them at the moment, uh, but. It's something we've been looking at, mainly triggered from the conversations that we've been having on the forums and responding to a lot of comments that we had when we introduced uh, the Elf City and things that should or should not have been added okay. uh, when, we, when we did it. So it is something that we're, we're talking about quite a lot at the moment and uh, there's lots of stuff going on in the forums which we're actively reading. Lots of players with those capes nowadays as well, so yeah. more of a justification to actually rework it. Yeah, well, you know, when we introduced them in the first place, they're supposed to be something that were incredibly rare. And obviously, as time goes on, more and more people get them. Um, but then also, more and more people get more precious about what they need to do in order to keep wearing them. Um, and there's always the question, you know, how challenging should these things be? And there's always the, the Castle Wars ticket thing, which uh, is always there. Yeah, so, you know. And uh, the questions just came through on the Twitch chat asking about group bossing. In this year, so 2014, we've had the solo slash duo boss with Araxor. Uh -huh. Previously, we had the group boss with Virago. Will we see a group, any group bosses next year? Uh, so we've been uh, talking quite a lot about what we want to do with Tusker next year. So, so we've got the kind of world event element, and then there's the kind of bossing element to it as well. We've talked about uh, more... We talked about a wider range of sort of combat recently. Um, I would like to think that we might be able to do some more sort of solo orientated things as well as uh, continue uh, to provide group orientated boss combat. 
Um, but we're, in, we're interested in putting a different kind of take on boss fighting as well. So we're experimenting with some uh, quite unique ideas at the moment and kind of the influence that other players could have on boss fights through other activities that they might be doing at so the same time. So like skilling involved with the boss? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's lots of oh, things that we're talking about regarding um, uh, what kind of content we might add to the game with Tusker. Um, and world event is one of those elements. B uh, group bossing is another element. Um, players being able to influence the boss fighting with perhaps skilling orientated combat is another thing that we've been talking about. Uh, it's we, we really would like to put a different kind of take on on uh, boss fighting, and and for me, it's about making it more accessible for more players. So. Uh, whether or not players that aren't necessarily big boss fighters can have an influence on boss fights would be an interesting thing to explore. So it's all really early stages right now. We're doing a lot of prototyping work and I have a lot of confidence in that team. So I, I read some documents this morning and there's a couple of really nice ideas there that kind of you blew me away. You mentioned that team. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. uh, it's, it's uh, uh, Chris's team, Chris, um, uh, Chris L, Mod Chris L. Um, and you know he's he he's very good with with so boss orientated combat. I'm going to jump to this as if I was a player. So it's going to be one of his bosses. Um, no, not necessarily his on his own, but he's working with a, a group of people at the moment, and uh, act, they're all very very talented. It'll be, it'll so. be great great for the community to hear because I'm sure they like a lot of his. They look, they definitely like a lot of his yeah. content at the moment. So to yeah, that he'd be leading this pretty. Yes, pretty cool. um, but yeah, I mean it's the kind of the. The kind of uh, influence that the world event can then have on the introduction of new bosses and and how all of those things tie in together and uh, the kind of influence of Tusker is really quite interesting. So cool. I can't wait for that. It's going to be one of my highlights of next year. Um, I'm going to take one more quest question that we had from the Twitch chat and then I'm going to ask someone to give me a question from Twitter if he can. Again, the hashtag is RSTV if you'd like to ask questions there. Um, the one that came through was slightly different from the RuneScape content side. Yep. Um, Mod Philip at RuneFest revealed the new client. Yes. And someone just that one of the questions I just saw come through was, um, is there an ETA? Will it be released this next year? Sorry. No, I don't. We we don't really want to give any ETAs. Um, we kind of we learned quite a lot from uh, what HTML. we had with um, HTML5 yeah. and RuneScape3. You know, we made a lot of promises. We didn't really deliver on a lot of those promises. Although there were lots of really cool things that we did, there were lots of things that we wanted to achieve that we didn't really manage to achieve. And so we're much more uh, cautious this time and making sure that it's really ready and it's going to do everything that we want it to do. So but more, you know, make sure it's ready before yeah. promise. Uh, they, they've, uh, they've got some kind of stable builds working at the moment. Um, I know there are a lot of QAs that are going to be looking at it over Christmas. Um, but these are really early stages right now. You know, there's going to be lots of things that come up, but we're going to have to make sure we get it right um, before we kind of chuck, or, uh, chuck it in the game. I was um, waiting for a Twitter question. I didn't get one, so I'm going to give evil eyes over towards Simon. Um, I did you look at the chat a minute ago. This again, this is a stream where you can just take anything from the chat. So if you see one you fancy, sure. then just go ahead and and take it. Uh, okay. Will there be an option to toggle hoods on the 120 Master Cape with the Skill Cape rework? That's a good question. I don't know the answer to that. I know that it's something that was talked about on the forums quite a lot. So um, it is definitely something that we've kind of looked into. If we have 120 skill mastery capes carry, uh, currently, can we use the cape on our comp cape to change the particle trail color? That's an interesting idea. I'll make sure that I write that down afterwards. Would that, would that, that be on. something you want to do? Because it's got prestige on the comp cape already. Yeah, I mean... With its two colors. Would you want to take <coughs> away from, from the trimmed color? Look, you know, a lot of what we're doing right now is about giving players a greater ability for customization. Yeah. So if it's something that we think we can do and it doesn't really... Um, change the nature of the, the cape and doesn't change the sort of prestige associated with it, then I don't really see it as a problem. Uh, on the at. customization, quickly, I do have another one that has come up. Yep. Uh, it's more technical, uh -huh. but I mean, just in case you can answer yep. it. Joe, the, uh, I believe, is it 16 colours or is it maybe a bit more that you can have on the Solomon's override interface? Uh -huh. Is there any plans in the future to add more colours to there? Like um, more of a palette like the comp cape as opposed we, to... We would like to be able to do that for sure. Um, there's quite a lot of items uh, that, yeah. that, is that, that rely on that 
uh, system and sometimes it's better from a development perspective that we keep the number of colors available limited yeah um, and that really is just into you know a development cost there's already a nice range in there. yeah I mean I'd rather have more things to play with rather than a, a smaller range but more colors that I can have yeah. them in and that and sometimes that's the kind of balance that you have to think about uh, I've got Quest one here cape I do have um, Quest Cape is one of the capes that we've been looking at recently um, it's the skill capes that we've kind of been looking at mainly. Um, I've got one from Twitter here, from 3 Tack. Yep. When can we expect Abana slash ROP? Any news? Uh, you have to explain exactly to, what I that is. I seem to get this question quite a lot. Um, have you pr accidentally you promised it? No, <laughs> I haven't promised anything. I know it's come up on a couple of the law streams. Um, and it's not something we've had a lot of conversations about recently. I know that it's things that we'd like to do. Well, firstly, I'll be honest Abana? and say, I, I, I don't, I keep getting these things confused in my head. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, so I don't, I, I could end up talking about something that it completely isn't. So I think we should just ignore that one okay, and, and move on. Because I have the same thing, because there's like the, there's Dragon's Castle, there's yes. the Unknown Underwater City, there's the Unknown ah, yes. uh, Goblin, no, yep. uh, Gnome City. Yeah. There's yeah, there's a lot of cities that are unknown that uh, if you if you speak to Mod Osborne, he'll tell you about them yes. all. Yes, but they've all got very confusing names. Yeah. Uh, um, so yeah, just well, anything else to pick out? Are you guys ever going to change the enhanced fire cape? No, uh, no plans to do that at the moment. Tier ninety boots. Uh, yeah, that is something that we would like to do. Uh, Flesh out the tier 90s yeah, next year, we, maybe? Yeah, we've, we've identified various different areas that we would like to add content to. Um, we kind of quite recently went through uh, a kind of exercise of trying to work out where the gaps were in terms of equipment and that was one of the things that came up. We have like the tier they 85 work. being fleshed out by player imports yep. to some extent and then yep. also the ninja stream we had last week we saw Tier 85 weapons yep. uh, come up, so I guess just filling in those gaps. Yeah, well they're just, it's just picking the right times for them, really. I always think that um, things like boots and gloves, capes, <laughs> make uh, combat orientated ones make pretty good um, rewards for new creatures that we add to the game, so it probably would be that we would go in that route. Okay, how about that? I'm going to bring this one up. This is my own quest. All right, right? go I'm on. I'm going to ask you about the 200th quest. Uh -huh. Red gloves for the first one. Tier 90 gloves or boots for the for the 200? Uh, the main, we're really focusing on the narrative stuff for the 200th quest. Um, there are a few kind of reward, reward-y type things in there at the moment, but, I, but we re really we want to make sure that we invest enough time in uh, getting the narrative right. It's really quite interesting, the, the story that we want to tell with that quest. So um, there's not too much talk about um, lots of development time going into the nature of the rewards. Okay. I'll let you just have a look and see if I pick okay. out. Again, I'll just re reiterate again, guys, you can put any questions in the chat. We can kind of read it. Uh, I have to squint a lot. We can kind of read it. And we've got Twitter, will hashtag you RSTV make as another well. tier of the Wild Stalker Mask Duelist hat? Um, no. Uh, that was kind of something we thought about uh, a long time ago, you know, tracking the amount of kills that you make in the wilderness, that kind of stuff. Um, there's no real plans to do anything new with that concept. Um, I know that there's a few ninja ideas flying around at the moment in terms of things that we could be doing in the wilderness. In the wilderness yeah. um, but really, I'm kind of looking for uh, a lot of the Rune Lab stuff next year to, to give us ideas um, of what the players might like us to do with the wilderness. But also, it gives us an opportunity to see how many players actually support that kind of concept. Support content. the actual idea of PvP yeah. in the wilderness. Um, Oh, crikey, it's going ever so fast. I've got one here, though. Uh, yeah, go on. From Bethley Hums. Right. Uh, the most recent quest was supposed to feel very, like, like a very old feel. Uh huh. Do you, do you feel you achieved that to a standard of something like World Gothic Sleeps, where you really move around the map a lot and it's more based on the map rather Well, than I, d it, I think it, a lot of people, old means something different to them. Yeah. So you could ask a whole bunch of different people and they would tell you that that meant something completely different. In terms of the vibe of the quest, I think very much so, yeah. We were looking at um, quite a lot of older quests for inspiration there. Um, I think that um, Plague's End is a very good example of a kind of old style of um, not necessarily development, but narrative structure in terms of the characters that you were playing around with, the areas that you were going around, um, and the types of things that you were asked to do during the quest. 
um, but with a much more modern um, polish of quality. And a polish of like, graphics and stuff. Yeah. Well, and not necessarily well, graphics. Because it was in the old areas. Because it was in the old areas, yeah. And it's interesting that a lot of players said, no, we, we wouldn't even want you to up, up do those graphics again. You know, they wanted that feel of those old environments that they went to. Um, which I thought worked quite well, and it's actually quite good to invest our, graf our, our graphics time in you know, some of the bosses towards the end of the quest, so that was nice. Cool. Okay, why no voiceover for Zamorak Heist? So the voiceover question comes up quite a lot. Um, the bottom line is that it adds a significant amount of time to the development of the quest. And when you ask yourself, right, what do I want? Do I want another puzzle room? Um, do I want a, like a, a much better sort of finale to a quest, or do I want all the NPCs to be voiced? It's a kind of easy question to ask, really. Um, it's not that we don't want to, it's that we'd rather invest our time on the specific on the pieces content, of content right. on actually what they're going to be experiencing in the game. Um, which is a shame, because I'm a big fan of voice acting, and I'm never going to say we're never going to do it ever again, but it's not as important to us as it once was. I feel the voiceover kind of... A lot of people do play with audio off, and the yeah. voiceover uh, interestingly, it gives, it gives you the opportunity to put it on. Well, and following on from that, maybe enjoy the audio. A lot of our statistics sort of suggest that when we release a new area to the game, new boss monster, a new quest, players will turn all their graphics up to max, uh, put all their audio on, and it's much more of a kind of immersive experience to them. Um, so actually, if you're going to do extra work on audio, that's the time to do it. Uh, so. You know, like I say, it's just it, it's just when you're trying to weigh up these choices. It's never, you know, if we, it, it's never a case of oh no, we won't bother doing it for no reason. It's always what would we rather do? Would we rather voice it, or would we rather put that extra bit of quality into what we're delivering to the players? Should I get the maximum to the player for you know, exactly in, improve yeah. their experience yep. the best we can? That said, two hundredth quest is a big one. Yep. Would, are you going to consider voice acting no. now? It's no. too big, too yeah. many characters. It's too, too big. So there'll be a, lot of, a huge amount of time invested yeah. into that. Yeah. Fair enough. And, and to, to be honest with you, we've already got people who are working lots of overtime to make sure that they are well, staying late, you know, just to make sure they've got the quality that they want. Um, voicing's never really been a thought for us for that one. I know that I know we've, we've, we've met the team that um, are developing 200 questions. Yes. A lot of their members do just stay late by choice. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, they're very they're hard workers indeed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and they really love the narrative. So it's more the it's narrative for them, it's team, like, oh, it? I wish I could write something. Like, I wish I could write a response if a player asked this kind of question. Those are like the things that they they stay late the wee hours of the morning <laughs> um, to get right. Uh, okay, will you be able to implement an ad to the companion app that makes player owned ports accessible from your phone? Um, that question's come up quite a lot as well. Um, like we, <laughs> the companion app is kind of doing everything that we wanted it to do right now. Um, and adding something like player own ports to it would be a huge amount of work. Um, so again, it's like when you're weighing those things up, like do you do that or do you release a new quest into the game? Do you do that or do you, you know, do start working on a new skill? Um, it's a significant amount of work. Um, and really the question is how much benefit would all of our players get out of that? Um, in we, terms, I guess, how like we the, use the app. Is the big thing for us, right, we've got a ports update coming out um, early next year. And uh, we, one of the things we really wanted to do with that was make it easier for you to send off voyages. So we probably haven't mentioned this yet, actually, so it's a bit of a reveal. But we're intending um, to make it um, so that players will be able to send voyages from outside of their port. So okay. they could get on with playing the normal game, um, and be able to interact with sending off voyages and things like that without needing to return to their so port. So we'd still need the so kind of requirements, still meet the yep, same criteria. Yep. And you'd still be able to go to your port and do all the stuff. Up, pop up that one interface exactly. from your... That's the plan. So you'd actually be able to... You wouldn't, you wouldn't need to sort of stop what you're doing in order to interact to with what's going on with the ports. And, and uh, for me, that makes it much more accessible. Now, I know that people want to be able to access their ports without even logging into the game. And they want to be able to do it out and about, but it's a significant amount of work. Yeah. And, and, and really, when you're weighing these things up, it's difficult to choose things like that over adding a new shiny piece of content to the game itself. Um, which, again, is a really difficult thing to, to decide, and it's a bitter pill to swallow, because it was one of the things that we 
have on our list of things we'd love the companion app to do, but not right now. Uh, level 99 prayer. Uh, yeah, that would be a really nice thing to do, but to be honest with you, there are lots of other gaps in prayer that I'd rather fill before I put something at level 99. Uh, what about the Church of Us? Is it still coming? So Church of You is one of my ideas. Is it the polled one? No, it was something I talked about at RuneFest oh, that was it. a couple of years ago. Was a um, that was really listen, I'm really still excited about that idea, um, but it is just one of many massive things that we could do. Um, and it may well be that like Church of You, um, Inventor, you know, uh, would get polled against each other or other massive things that come up through the, um, through Rune Labs. You know, players will still talk about sailing all the time. There's all sorts of stuff, I, I'm right? I'm waiting for the sailing. There's massive updates that we could do and, you know, it's, it's, it's not about me deciding what's right. It's about me and the team deciding what we think RuneScape would benefit from, but also getting the input from the players as well. Um, there are lots of cool things about Church of You and things like the Inventor skill, which we could do in completely different ways. You mentioned this year at RuneFest about doing Inventor in a different way yeah. to how it was proposed the year prior. So it's, it's always the case that players are like, when are you are going to rework these skills? Why, when are you going to give me a reason to train my smithing skill? Um, and there's so many ideas that we had with the Inventor skill that we could use um, and always were intended to be linked with smithing. Like you're levelling up like levelling, Like right? making a weapon and like feeding it souls and like it levelling up alongside you and all those kind of ideas. You don't need Inventor to add that to the game. Um, now it's difficult because a lot of players are going to say, well I'm already level 99 um, smithing so I don't need a reason to level it because I already have. Um, but then there are, uh, there are a lot more players who don't have those levels. Yeah. Um, and there are a lot more players who are like, why would I ever bother leveling it when I've got all the weaponry that I would ever need? Like, why would I, what's the point of the skill? So part of me thinks, well, it would be silly to hold back those really cool ideas that would really refresh a skill like smithing um, and hold it back for inventor. Just because of... Just I because mean. it happens to be a new skill, it doesn't, it's not quite right. And um, by the way, just quickly, um, on the RSTV hashtag, we've had someone say that Abana is actually the world of the Avancies. Yes, that's right. Okay. Yeah. So there we go. Uh, so that was, um, we talked about that um, first of all when we talked about right of packet, pa package, package, no. right of package, that would be a completely <laughs> different question. <laughs> uh, right, right of passage, um, which was our kind of. Um, a avian -S like uh, armadillo kind of jumping around islands type quest. Um, again, look, you know, there's so many things that we'd like to do. It's just a question of picking the right time. I would be surprised if that kind of thing didn't come up with Rune Labs. So they, they, the, the person who asked it originally, Squeetack, <laughs> and yes. then said, because you mentioned Rune Labs before, and that's where to bring it up, when can we see Rune Labs? This was actually answered yesterday. So, so um, it's going to be early next year. Um, I... We, we're certainly intending initially to get the system live so that people can start um, posting ideas yep. and put things there and then later on we'll start adding the ability for players to support favorite those ideas and, and favourite or whatever and then we get to a point where we start filtering them, work out what we can do and then boil, boil it down into a poll. Um, what, I, what I would love, is, and th our plan right now is to make sure that at least six significant updates next year are all generated through Rune Labs. In the second half of the year, we'd like to be at a point where there's at least one update a, a, a month that where, which has come from Rune Labs. Okay. That, that's the plan. I mean, it will take a while for that to come We've into fruition. We've got to go through the whole process of exactly. you know, creating it and before. If, if you think about um, what, what happened with um, Player Power last year, that big vote that they started with, it took like a few, like four, five, six months before that started coming into the game. And that it will be the same this time, although we'd like to pick some slightly smaller projects to start with, depending on the nature of the stuff that starts coming in from, from you guys, from the players. Cool. Right. Had lots of laws about right of package. Yeah. Maybe yeah. it's something to consider in the future. Right? <laughs> what would that even be? Yeah, I don't know, but I'm worried it could go yeah, like 18. It, yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, yeah, we'd have to put an 18 certificate on that, I suspect. Uh, what's okay, guys, right. ask questions in the chat. As far, uh, feel free to ask questions Do you have any chat. plans for a construction rework? If so, when? Something like, so reworks are massive. Um, and again, it's it's something we'd like to do, but you're not going to keep all players happy when you 
try and rework something. You know, we have dramatically reworked things in the past and a lot of players like it, a lot of players don't like it. It's really difficult. And I'm, nev I'm not gonna say that any one update is ever gonna be good for all players because yeah. it's just the nature of things. I mean, some tick more boxes than others and yeah. some maybe from a more niche player. However, set, however, we know that construction and farming are two skills that we have neglected quite a lot in the last um, couple of years, particularly construction. And one of the reasons why that was the case was because graphically it didn't look great. And we were kind of uh, at a point where we're saying, look, we don't really want to add new things to player and housing before we graphically rework everything. We time costed that. We worked out what kind of effort it would take to do that. And basically it would like occupy the whole graphics team for a year, which is crazy. Um, I, I do see and that would mean no so. graphic support for any other content. Yeah. So, uh, we, so we're saying, look, we're not going to be able to graphically rework it. So we should, we should bring back some of the quality ideas that we've had and the ones that we've got from the forums to add new things to construction. And, and this is the thing that I really want and lots of people on the floor, we want to add more surface world construction. So things you can actually do with your construction skill on the surface world. Now I've talked about that in relation to Inventor as well. And again, would you really hold back those cool ideas just to wait for a, new skill? For a new skill? I, I'm, I, you know, you can probably tell from my body language. I'm just, <laughs> no. I'm not so convinced anymore that um, that it's the right thing to do to save all those good ideas for Inventor. When realistically, if I was going to do all of those th things for Inventor, we wouldn't get it in 2015, and we'd be waiting even longer. So. You know, I, I'm certainly in my own mind, I'd rather add those things to the game when it was the right time to do them in relation to the skills that they're associated with rather than wait for Inventor. And put it all together. And, and maybe there's another thing that we could do for a new skill that we would look at to do in, in 2016. Well, I've asked you this question before a long time ago and you, you shot 10 ideas my way with necromancer, yeah. with this, with that, and yeah. there's a lot of things. So, you know, I imagine you've got plenty of other ideas. Oh, yes. If yeah, th we do there's plenty. And I know there's, there's lots. And, of course, there is the chair spinning skill, which, uh, you know, I talk about a lot, <laughs> um, which wouldn't work in the game, but would certainly work well as a kind of out-of-game leveling up experience. How that would work, I don't know. Maybe we could do it at RuneFest next year. Um, one that did come through on the Twitch chat is, uh, came from Fairy Tales RS asking, the blue orb mechanic added to Frost Dragons. It right. would just stop bots. Yeah. Basically, shot damage back at you. It's more yep. of like a. It's not very an engaging mechanic. It's more of an annoying mechanic for players right. nowadays. With the bots solved, would you ever look at them removing that? Um, it's something that we've talked about. It's not something that I would dismiss as a possibility. No. Um, but equally, um, if that had been added to them when they were first launched, it would. It would just be part of it their mechanic, part of right? Their mechanic, it yeah. was something that we added later, so people have a bit of a problem with them. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with adding a little bit more effort to training on what we call trash mobs. So they're not bosses, they're high level combat opponents, which um, give me good rewards. But is it appropriate for a player to do just a little bit more effort than their standard, like hitting a creature to slay them? Um, for like these big high level trash bombs. I think it probably is. So I don't personally have a problem with that mechanic. Um, and like I say, if we would added it in the first place, it wouldn't be a problem. It's just that when we did it, we kind of said, yeah, this is about bots. But actually, I don't think it's a, it's a hugely bad thing. But like I say, it, it's no skin off my nose if we do change it. And custom question from Twitter was, I can yep. see Rite of Package becoming a posty a posty peak quest slash April Fool's. Oh life. no, and nice! So Rite <laughs> of Package could be a posty peak quest. Yeah, posty peak is uh, is a favourite NPC of mine, so um, that sounds great. It's been yeah. roaming around for a while with not much going on recently. So. Yeah. Yeah, um, that. Uh, yeah, yeah. You've got my brain thinking there. Right. I do have another one for the Twitch chat. Do, okay. do you want to grab one first? Then no, we'll no, go one. on, you go. Okay, so it was, you've mentioned it a few times already, the stream. How do you weigh up the decision between quality over the quantity of the content? Oh, so difficult. Um, do you just gauge it? You've, I so imagine you've got a good gauge. It's, it's kind of like the feel of it, really. And so we go through a lot of processes to make sure that we get the quality that we want. So first of all, it's about um, a kind of overview and making sure that 
Um, all of the things that we believe we should get in a really kind of brief form are documented and then they're kind of flashed out into a design document and then people look at that and then we might say to ourselves, right, okay, when you boil it down, it won't take the player very long to do these things. And if it doesn't take a significant amount, if it takes an insignificant amount of time, it doesn't matter what the quality is because people will feel a little bit underwhelmed by it because it was over so quickly. And so you're trying to balance those two things out. You know, one of the things that uh, uh, Maud Osborne talks about quite a lot, which we've spoken about many times over many years, is about um, the, r the right kind of storyline. So some storylines lend themselves to a kind of longer, more drawn out, epic kind of world questing feel. And other ones work much better when it's kind of there at the moment and it's a, it's a completely different type of experience for the player. Um, so some, sometimes we want um, to have a longer quest. So we say, okay, the individual bits of quality throughout this experience will probably be lower. And then other times we'll say, or, or we'll say we'll pick our moments for moment delivering the, the real yeah. kind of awesomeness. For like a cutscene or a yeah, new area. Exactly. Um, whereas other things are much shorter and we kind of, we say, right, we want this to be a really polished experience. We say we want everything to be polished, but then you can go to huge lengths and how many feedback processes and how many times you iterate and those kind of things. So there is no, there's no magic answer to that. Um, it's kind of we feel our way through it, it and it changes. Modmark, bring back D claws. D claws are still in the game. <laughs> you have you have dragon they claws. They are there, and they have a special attack. In yeah, um, I'm get. glad that they're not horrifically overpowered um, for a level uh, 60 item. Uh, so, but <laughs> but I think actually the things that you can do with them and and actually the way that the special works means that they're still quite a viable item uh, and they're still quite sexy. <laughs> um, I'm just going to quickly remind everyone it is it's managed to get half an hour through already. I don't know. Right. Blimey. Where did, where did that come right, from? We need to just it's rock hard it. Through. So again, through. this is live Q&A. You can ask Mod Mark anything you like in the Twitch chat or on Twitter with the hashtag RSDV. Can you add Prayer Altar and Summoning, Ob Summoning Obelisk to the Max Guild? That's a very good idea. Um, I will write that one down as well. Mod Mark, lol. Thank you. <laughs> lol to you too. Uh, RuneScape, bring back pre eo why did I have to pick that one? Uh, I'm, I'm afraid you're going to get about as much pre-EOC as you're ever going to get with, with Legacy, Legacy. Mode. Um, we're not intending to do anything else, and I do think it's the right thing for us to do, um, and I will be ignoring your capitalised statements. It should, should be filtered out, caps lock. Uh, uh, is it allowed to play RS while working? Depends what you do. Um, it possibly, you know, I've got a good friend of mine who's a security guard who looks at monitors in the evening quite a lot and plays RuneScape at the same time. Uh, just uh, should, should he be doing that? Well, apparently so. <laughs> but apparently it's okay. You know, the, his colleague next to him plays poker. So uh, Fair enough. Uh, at least he can like log out of RuneScape. You can't really do that with a game of poker. Uh, one well, that came here, Swaggerpants said, will we see any more armour above tier 70 that doesn't degrade? Um... That's a very good question. Uh, not, the, the that's the not our current plan. Now. That's not our current plan. Um, in my mind, players who um, have access to those levels um, need something to spend their cash on. Um, and I think degrading weapons is the right way to do that. Um, bottom line is most skills that you can train up to level 99 with level 70 equipment. I mean, a lot of Slayer assignments that you get, you can cope with lower leveled gear. It's up to us to make sure that we're adding higher level assignments that require the use of, of better gear. Um, excuse me. I don't, I don't see anything wrong with it, so I don't think it will be something that we do, no. And I've got a question here, but mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I can answer for you. It's from Twitter saying, Modmark, if there's one thing you could change in the game, what would it be and why? And I'm going uh, to say to you that it's going to be the, the round table Camelot storyline. Oh, well, that's the one I always talk about, saying I, I kind of, uh, I never really got the influence of King Arthur in the game. And it, it was always, always a bit weird because we've got so many cool ideas of our own. But, you know, I'm a big fan of kind of English medieval history, not that King Arthur's history, but, um, it, you know, uh, it sort of, um, I'm constantly inspired by uh, kind of medieval um, theming of literature and, and King Arthur is such an easy thing to focus in on. Um, 
So yeah, that's one. Um, I think actually one of them is... Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> this is a bit like Church of You and Inventor and stuff like that. Long, long time ago, I used to talk about something called Fossil Island. Fossil Island. Uh, which uh, we talk about with the... Um, it came up player in ports, didn't uh, it? Yeah, to uh, Fossil it, Island. yes, it does. Um, and... Uh, it's a bit of a joke in the office. You, you uh, talked about it in the last stream about the dinosaur. Yeah. You, you talked a lot about it. So, and I, about I talk it, about this, uh, and I think about it quite a lot. Um, I really, really, really like that idea. And, I, and it's the one I keep coming back to more than anything. Um, and all the different things that we wanted to happen there. I wish I'd pushed harder uh, like at the time. Because I feel like the longer time goes on, the, the less and less likely it is that I'll ever get to do that. And I do think that dinosaurs should be in RuneScape. <laughs> Um, and so, yeah, I guess I wish I'd pushed harder for that. Maybe then, okay, Fossil Island was the original idea, but could we not spawn them out of the dig site? I, think, I guess Yeah, got, there's all sorts of I stuff know, we've we got could the, do. the temple underneath the dig site, I guess. So it's we wrote a design good. document for, um, it had all sorts of things, like two-player woodcutting, where you would have those big band saws yeah. and things like that, and you'd be working together to do these things, and, you know, but b building a skeleton that then comes alive, and then you fight dinosaurs, and the kind of looming dragonkin looking at you from the top of a mountain. Um, there were all some quite cool ideas. I wish I'd pushed harder on that. Uh, yeah, I think I, I would have liked to have done that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I got one from the Twitch chat. I'm a crazy cat lady. Can we please see some more crazy cat quests? Crazy cat <laughs> quests? Um, uh, what have you got? You've got Gertrude's cat. There's, oh, what is the one with the, the rat catcher? Yeah. Oh, I hate that quest. So, well, <laughs> I, yeah, sorry, but that was a lot of that was my fault. Because uh, I really, I hate that I really, I really encouraged that. We, the idea of cats fighting in fight pits. <laughs> I, was way, I was like, yes, let's have more of that. Um, we did talk for a while about there being some cat influences in the 200 quest, but I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> Uh, that was the kind of one thing that we were like, yeah, that's, that's right at the bottom of the pile of things that we would want to do. Um, however... It's, it's, it's on your mind now, though. So it's, it, it's it, been it, brought up. So well, maybe one day you'll yeah. think, you know what? Look, need some cat club. what I would suggest is that you come up with an idea, put it on Rune Labs. Rune Labs. If you get enough support, come back to Rune I Labs, will support it? your idea because um, I am a crazy cat man. <laughs> so uh, from Katmandu, and uh, and I would I would like to I would like some more crazy cat content. But if you think about it, right, there is kind of like crazy animal content. If you think about the cat content, the penguin content, the pig uh, bacon, bacon quest, bacon. you know they're all quite similar, and they've got this kind of like warm, kind of fuzzy inside, and like a bit of an ominous um, exterior. Uh, so we do kind of flex our muscles with that style of quest. They don't necessarily so what end up being about quests. So what saying here is we're going to have uh, a new cats. quest where he brings all those together. Or is that just a straight no? Uh, who knows? <laughs> that would be great. So maybe we could do something like the Zamorak heist quest, but actually just have a team of animals. <laughs> it, oh man, that would be awesome. So you could have like Gertrude's cat and you could have like Ping and Pong and uh, you could have like a couple of monkeys. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, maybe a cabbage. Yeah. Actually, talking about animals, we, we have one of the things that we were talking about in the last week to do with farming, actually, and doing a farming update and linking it to construction was the idea of, uh, of livestock and uh, being able to have your own farm inside your player-owned house. player -owned farm. So you, you would be able to sort of breed livestock and things like that. It was a crazy idea. And like most of the things that I'll be talking about <laughs> in this stream... Um, don't for a second think, oh yeah, that means they're definitely going to do that. And don't be giving me no hashtag confirmed <laughs> livestock update, which obviously you're all going to do now. But um, You've that, encouraged that, that, that's, that's, that's not, the I'm not saying that. I'm just saying we've talked about those kind of things. Hashtag um, sailing, hashtag livestock. Well, apparently all of these things Noah's are confirmed. Ark. Yeah, exactly. Hashtag <laughs> World Fossil event. Island. World event but, to Fossil Island. Yeah, exactly. All the livestock that would be great. And in like, the sailing The weird boat. thing is, right, there's so many of these... Yeah, hashtag confirmed. Look at that, a whole wall of it. A wall of it. Thanks very much, you cheeky players. Um, it's, you know, it's, it would be great to do all these massive updates, right? And we could, if we wanted to, say, we're only going to give you three updates this year. Only three. And they're going to be, like, two skills and a massive, giant quest. We could do that, but I don't think that people would want that. Although I'm really interested in polling that kind of question. Uh, it's, an we'll it's an interesting one, isn't it? Because RuneScape's been this weekly or bi-weekly kind yeah. of content 
forever. Yeah. But would anyone be interested in, a, you know, a, it's a big risk as well. It, well, theory, look, it? It's, so. it changes what we're all about, you know. RuneScape's the game that you play, you log in, there's something new and shiny for you to do all the time. You can kind of do it if you want and you can come back to it. It's just like, it changes the vibe of the game for me and that's a weird thing to do. Yeah. And maybe it's too big a question to like, poll. Could we but lose the community element? The I, I, engagement I always that? bring that question up at RuneFest when people that I talk to at RuneFest and say, all right, yeah, well, I could do those two massive things that you just talked about, but that would be all you'd have in like eight months. And they're like, oh, no, probably I don't want that. Can you add something like Grand Exchange, just like the trading post, instead of messaging the seller, you can click on the item and it comes in your inventory like Grand Exchange. Um, that's yeah, that's, that's an old school question, that's isn't old it? School question, yeah. yeah, so it seems to me that lots of people are saying, yeah, we don't want the Grand Exchange, but we want something that has these features, and then they describe the Grand Exchange. Um, it's a difficult thing. Look, I let old school guys work it out themselves. They work out what's right, what's what's right for their game. Well, I really love what those guys do. If they ask me for any help, I kind of give them some That's advice where advice. I can, but really, you know, they've really impressed me and, and all, of our, all, of, all of us this year and consistently done so. So I don't, I wouldn't want to interfere. Coming back, to the, coming back to the big question, someone asked if we could poll it. Um, poll. With a, with a straw poll, the, would you rather game update every other week or? Yeah, we could year. we could do this that. Is purely a, just a consensus, just yeah. to see what see what you guys are feeling yeah. in the chat. But are you are you okay to do that? We, yeah. we may well we we may I well just do don't that. Want to yeah. do it. What do you want to do it now? Yeah, we could chat? we could poll it straw poll in the chat right now. If you okay, want so you all right, why that? not? Okay, so the question is, would you rather have the kind of frequency of updates that we have at the moment? Uh, you know, like three significant chunky things every every month, or you know, or or smaller things every week or actually let's just have two questions yeah so would you rather it's like what we're doing at the moment or would you rather say one update a quarter so one update every, every three months, months where that one update was pretty big pretty big and we could be like a massive skill or a massive quest or a new skill or a brand new mini game you know where you would only get four updates in a year but they would be massive like why not Always. let's the, ask it the like, worry is, this isn't going to mean anything but i'd be really interested just in, just in to go over that thought. point the worry with straw polling in you know with, with the live game and a live stream is that some people kind of jump in it as like this is going to happen no it's purely informal no. this is informal we just want to gauge what it you it's gauge just a bit of fun say, so it's a bit of fun um what um, people were saying in the that. chat, but shout out to Wooters just came through oh, yeah. on Twitter. Yeah, who and there's from? nine new results. That came through from Toxic. Toxic. Oh, yeah, Tox. Yeah, Tox is a good good chat. Met him a couple of years as ago. As soon as um, as soon as the poll goes up, which will be in the chat in a second, guys, I'm going to ask Simon to refresh the Twitter feed as well, which will be cool. Okay. What have we got in the Twitch More chat questions. right now? Would it be nice to have for new classes? Really interesting for bossing PvPing. One of the cool things I always liked about RuneScape is none of the decisions that you make have long-term implications to the way you train your character. So you don't choose a it's class, a key thing. for example. I like the fact that key decisions you make change your narrative experience, but I, I never really want it to be... Um, I, from a personal perspective, I get really frustrated with games where... The most important question that you answer when you play that game is the first thing you do when you log when, in, as in when it says choose your class choose and you have class. no idea what these things mean. Also, um, it, it's a weird thing. I'd rather that we provided a game where it was free form enough that players could go, I don't really want to do that anymore. I'd like to do a bit of this without needing to create choose a new character, character to do yeah. so. I'm saying that I, I have got a greater appreciation for combat pures and skill pures, and I do see the value in having multiple accounts, but I don't think that um, class restrictions are the right way to do it. We have talked in the past about the concept of specialization. We have talked, but I, I quite like the idea that, look, if you want to max out all your skills and you want to just do whatever you like, whenever you want to do it, I don't have a problem with that. I think it's the right thing to do. Uh, Someone wants a child off you. Yeah, well, that is so. nice for them, isn't it? Yeah. I'm getting married next year, um, yeah. so uh, that is, you know, that is off, off, off the. That's not <laughs> going to happen. I, uh, that's all sorted. <laughs> um, I am going to have kids. That's not what I'm saying. In case my my fiance is watching, well, I don't know why she would. But there we go. <laughs> uh, right. 
RuneScape for life, yes. Um, new rewards for RuneSpan, nothing to spend points on after a Steam 1. Yeah, I'm quite happy with what RuneSpan's doing at the moment. I don't see any new, re I don't see any real reasons to um, add new, re new um, rewards for RuneSpan. Um, we have talked about um, more altars. We've talked about um, different uses for runecrafting rather than it all being orientated around um, the rune span. Um, there's even, you know, there's soul, soul runes and all sorts of different things that we might yeah. uh, uh, experiment more with in the future. Um, we'll see. Um, one that did come up was um, on Twitter from Jim Bobs. Yeah. Um, this is more like a kind of a personal one, but did Mark, Andrew and Gower still have any influence over the game because you knew them personally, obviously because you've been at the company so long? Oh, um... Did you talk to them about the game? So, I'm, well, I'm trying to get Paul's address at the moment, actually, so I can invite him to my wedding. Um, uh, I do... I talk to him mostly in the game at the moment. Um, he is a, a food fan, like I am, um, which uh, is no surprise to many people. Uh, and I do see him quite a lot at sort of um, events that go on around Cambridge. So I talk to him quite a lot. Um, he still plays. I see him log in the game. I will chat to him on his character, get his opinion on certain things. Um, it's quite interesting. I kind of get this feeling now sometimes as well where... I can't look at everything all the time. So sometimes I'll play something in the game and I've only looked at it a few times and so it's a kind of fresh experience to me and they reinterpret some of the ideas I had years ago. Paul gets that all the time now, so when he plays through a quest, he'll be like, ooh, that's interesting. I never expected that. And I'll get a bit of feedback on that. Um, I don't have much contact with Andrew. He's kind of focusing on other things, really. I hear about what he's up to through Ian, who's still in the company. Um, like an old school now. Exactly, cool. but, but there we go. There we go. Okay, look at that. Poll results. 52% oh, fewer larger updates. For, like, e that what, surprises e four, me, actually. Even for a year, only four, or 48% now. What were, the exact, it is now. what were the exact things? Can you drag the exact things across? Just to see exactly how it was phrased. Right. So it was fewer larger updates, you know, three big updates a year. Oh, right. So three, not even one okay. a quarter versus... All right, but that is still like pretty is close, now. right? Yeah, I mean, it's really? close. But it's only 30 votes different. How do you... So would, would you make a massive change like that to the game or based something on, based so on, close? Based you wouldn't, on 50, would you? 50. No. no. But what do, you, what, what do you genuinely feel about the result of that? Is that I'm, I'm genuinely interested by that. Yeah. You, I would it like. I, you? Um, it's, it does surprise me, yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. actually, I was surprised How often do you play RuneScape, Mark? Hours weekly... Um, I would say about two hours a day, um, a bit more at the weekend, a lot less than I used to, Yeah, but well, you know, that's now. what happens it's when you hard. have a family and yeah, stuff. It's harder. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's still my favourite game, even though I work on it, it's still the game I choose to play when I get home. I still always come back to you, you always come back to it, it's, it exactly. goes down for me. When you well? update the dead mini games like Great Orb Project, so it's actually possible to get the rewards. So. Um, it's been difficult this year with mini games. We put a lot of effort we into Barbarian Assault, as and it's well. a real shame because we put a lot of work into that, and uh, the pickups just not been very good. The bottom line is that people don't seem to want to be a, to be playing that content, and I know I appreciate that there's like the odd reward here and there that people really want, and it's frustrating to them that they don't have enough players to go and play the games. I would like to be able to fix that in some way, but. Are we going to do massive reworks on mini games? I doubt it very, very much because there's no evidence to support that lots of people want that. That's the bottom line. Like Maybe we come up with this, with, there's this idea that's been nagging away in our brains for a long time where there's a kind of universal reward system for all mini games. And then you can use those universal rewards to buy any rewards from any minigame. From any minigame, yeah, because you could do anything. Yeah. Are you not worried about people farming the easiest minigame, I guess? So you, what you would do is you would balance the amount of that universal currency based on the difficulty of the minigame and the time that it takes to play it. So if one game was really easy and finished really hard, really quickly, then you'd only get a few bits of currency from that. Whereas other games that were hard, where you could lose a lot more and took longer, you'd get more, more of that currency. That is a way of doing it, right? And that would mean that we wouldn't need to rework the mini games. We would just create that system. And you'd just change the reward structure from those games. That is a possibility. I'm not going to say we're going to do that, but it is something that we've talked about. And it also comes back to, to, a, to a player if... Um 
you asked me if you, would I would you rather we rework you know an existing mini game or put out a completely in new piece of content? Yeah, I think for the most part a lot of players would want the newer. Yeah, content. but yeah. even the new mini games that we've put out, things yeah. like Heist, things like um, Cabbage Face Thank Punch, you. they don't have the players playing them that we thought would. Even though they're new and shiny and the rewards are nice and fresh and genuinely rewarding, you know, there are different ideas we've had to do with mini game spotlights and allowing the a player, you know, yeah, right. the grouping system was supposed to really help and it has helped, but not to the extent that we'd really hoped. Anyway, look, let's move on. Um, why isn't there any snow in the GE? Um, because they've got amazingly um, thermally heated floors, obviously. Uh, Put the universal minigame currency, poll the universal minigame currency, that is something that we could do. Uh, is it possible to, I couldn't read that. Cabbage Face Punch is populated 24-7. Okay, so people do play Cabbage Face Punch, I apologise for that. Um, do you think that we will ever have a marriage system in RuneScape? Um, I doubt it. That's uh, a bit of a it's it's, a, it's an odd one really because... Surely there's some kind of contractual like if you put, If there was an 18 legal. certificate, then you could do that, but there isn't. And you know, I'm happy for play younger players to I play guess the game. Has so, to, you know, meet laws across multiple countries as well. So there's yeah. somewhere where that's probably exactly. not on. Um, uh, consider giving a second chance to permanently banned players. Mm, permanently banned players generally have gone through a system where they've already had their second chance. So you know, how many chances do you give someone? That's the question. Especially for a serious offence or a more serious um, offence. One that came on Twitch chat was Law Behind Barrows. Any expansion on that in the future with a quest? Or no, I mean, we, we did a fair amount of Law expansion with the Barrows um, th uh, in the last couple of years. What with the, um, the, the expansion, w with the Rise of the Six, and there's been some various other Barrows references in other places. So it's not something we want to do more of right now. Um, I, I wouldn't uh, write it off completely, as always. Uh, when are you going to release a new boss next year? Uh, this is not a dating site. That is correct. That is, tr that is uh, correct. Only chat mobs. Oh, no, that's not anything to do with me. One came through from Twitter. Where are said, our rideable horses? Nowhere. <laughs> that's, rideable horses so that's do not one, exist. That's what's going to come up on Rune Lab. <coughs> yeah, of course it Sailing is. Sailing and rideable and horses. Yeah. Bottom Rune line, line is the, the world is mapped in a certain way where rideable horses don't make any sense. First of all, um, but do we let people horses, move faster? Yeah. If we let people move faster, we have to rebalance a lot of things yeah, in the game, yeah, well, right? Yeah, we try and ride it while or doing the Or, like, or you, we could add, like, w maybe you could uh, fly around in the sky, but what's the point of that? And then when it's just a glorified transport system, it's like, well, actually, when you think about it, what would that really give us compared to a lot of other things that we could do? It would look cool, of course. Um, RuneScape Menaphos. Menaphos uh, release. release. Mm. Um, yeah, I'd, look, there are so many massive areas of the game that we'd like to do. And now that Elf City's been done, people are like, well, clearly it could be done. Draken's but Castle. There we go. <laughs> but there is a huge amount of, uh, of effort into that. And there's, there's, you know, that question you asked me earlier, right? Which one? What, what, would, you, oh. what would you have done in the past? Okay. Like, so one thing I regret is having so many unanswered storylines in the game. Because there's so much we've promised in the past, narratively, that we that players have expectations that they will be delivered. And ultimately, if we said, I'm going to make nothing new, all I'm going to do is um, finish all the unanswered questions that exist in the game, that's like three years worth of content. And it was, I think, a bit daft of us to ever get ourselves into a situation so where that was the case. Because um, it, it's a real shame, because every time someone comes up with a new shiny idea for something, you're like, well, do we do that? And so that was a big inspiration for the sixth age. It's kind of like, look, let's draw a line under this. We, we're constantly like paying back a debt which we've accrued from ages ago, rather than like focusing on the now and what's exciting and what we could do and, and make something really kind of new and fresh and really resonate. Um, and we're trying to get a balance of those two things. There's no that, point just constantly living in the past. It gives you that thought in the back of your mind if you try and make a new storyline. Yeah. There's an old one. Uh, 120 all skills. No, there's no intention to do that right now. I keep saying that. Um, we've got so many things that we... That there's, there's a lot of stuff I want to do to skills up to 99 before we even think about doing anything crazy like that. Skill revamps, please, please, please. That comes back to the yeah. artisan being yeah. skills rather than... Well... It, sorry, I said artisan. I meant 
What is that? Uh, uh, inventor. Invent invention. Yeah. So that, there we go. Like, oh, lots of people are like, there. I want new content. A lot of people are saying, well, I want you to rework old skills. Again, it's always that. What do you do, you do things to do with the old or to the, the new? It's really difficult all the time. Um, a Vampire Quest 2015. Wouldn't that be cool? That's the Dragon's uh, Castle one. Uh, will agility be buffed? Um, yeah, so agility is one of the skills on the list of like, we've got to do this. Um, it's got to be done. Is that to take away from courses or? <sighs> What's your vision? Or are we still I, it's just, look, there, there are so many skills we'd like to rework. Agility is one of them. Rune Trying to work out what it could do is a completely different question. Four years ago, we had three design documents that were like, this is how we rework agility, but they always just take so long to do. And like I say, it's something we, we really should do, but there's so much we always should do. Um, is there plans for new hairstyles? Yes, there is. Uh, 200 quest vampire confirmed. No, I didn't say that, you fool. Uh, uh, comp cape should have more than just one particle. Yeah, okay. Treadmills, please, mod mark. We have talked about the idea of a little gym where you could train your agility. That was one of the ideas on the list. We had a really cool brainstorm the other day where we talked about a bunch of cool ideas um, for different things that you could do. Um, a couple of things we talked about that really excited me were like things like um, offhand um, skilling items, so the idea of dual, dual wielding pickaxes, that kind of stuff, or, or like fishing with one hand and like mining with the other, that, that, that kind of stuff is quite cool. Um, and, and yeah, um, there are lots of suggestions that are coming up on the stream which are exactly the kind of things that we talked about. Uh, read Twitter, please. Apparently we've got to read Twitter, James. That's Simon. James, <laughs> do you see what I did there? I looked over there and I talked to you through the, through the side of my mouth. Uh, it, well, it's here. There's, nothing, I don't think, I don't, there's, there's a few questions in there, but there, a lot of the ones we've already answered. So more uh, information on raids, we mentioned that at the start, kind of. What's the funniest glitch or glitch slash bug you've seen in a while? <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> right, okay, well. So I came out of a review meeting the uh, the meeting I was in just before I came here, actually, which was with um, some of the um, uh, Solomon Store guys, and uh, they were they just done a proof of concept. There's a proof of concept that you could do different war cannons um, without needing to have an object okay. to be wielded at the same like time. The so just stick. for a laugh, right? And then we're not going to do this, but just for a laugh, they proved it by having a player crawling around on all fours, like just crawling. <laughs> on the game, and it um, looked proper weird. That um, that's not a bug, a but um, it was something I had just seen. Um, so uh, there we go. Quite funny. Asher always brings up. Do you know about the the face crotch? It's the one when asked for old school in a similar situation. They always Asher always says face crotch. Yeah, so face crotch. Your face would appear on your crotch. For um, there was a the great face. one from. Uh, oh, what was the quest where um, Sarah Domin touches? Uh, Ziliania and, le and saves her from dying. Oh, it was so a cutscene. So I know the exact, I know the exact uh, cutscene you want about because she hasn't been reworked it was a big, in the cutscene. That's how I remember was it. it um, it was, was it World yeah, I think. Yeah. No, it wasn't. It was, um, uh, it was Ritual of the Majorat. Yeah. There was a cracking bug in that <laughs> where it looked like Sarah Domin and Ziliania were doing something that they should not have been doing. <laughs> and we all laughed. And we were like, we should just leave it in like that. It makes a lot more sense than him just sort of <laughs> touching it on there. <laughs> and we were like, whoa, that's wrong. Uh, that was funny. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was, <laughs> that was pretty full on. Um, we recorded that. We were going to show it at RuneFest, but we never did. But um, it was very funny. Um, it is now five o'clock, by the way. And is it? it? Yeah. That we can carry on a bit if you I'm want. I'm happy to carry on. It's yeah, I don't know. We can probably I'm going to look for a nod over there. there. Yeah, we'll yeah, get to Yeah, there's nods. There's nods. So Just yeah. for you guys, because it's Christmas. We'll carry on for a bit more. I did rep, uh, I did rep the Dungeoneering for S-O-R-S. Who, who, who are sores? I imagine Dungeoneering for sores. <laughs> are you injured? <laughs> Have you fallen over in the playground? Dungeon in now. Send me to a dungeon. <laughs> That's right. Maybe it's Dungeoneering is, for SARS. This is maybe where you it's get some your, kind of virus. You get your crawl at him, maybe. I don't who know. knows? Uh, anyway. 
Uh, a new way to gain bonus XP and agility. Yeah, that would be a cool thing to do. Sarah Diamond and Ziliana in love confirmed. Definitely not. He's got too big a beard for Ziliana. It's a fact. Seren prayers. Yeah, so that was one of the things that we wanted to do with the Elf City. There are a few things that we cut um, that we've talked about maybe packaging as, um, as an update for next year. Seren prayers were one of those things. Seren prayers, that's interesting, the new prayer book. Hasn't been one in a l quite a long time. So. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, I'd like to have some skilling prayers. Was it 2009 it came out? Uh, well, Ancients. Oh, you're talking about magic book or prayer oh, book? Oh, well, because... Well, uh, Oh yeah, no. I the think, the, la I think the latest prayer was so 2009. Temple of Sentinels. Yeah, came out. Yeah, something like that. Um, I'm looking at Twitter. A lot of people asking about Tusker and the World Event, and yep. a lot of questions. Most of the questions on there are all about that. Okay. We yeah, go on. It, we went over at the start. Yeah, I mean, there's not really so much else to cover. So just more, to reiterate, more to, yeah, more to repeat. Um, so the, so start, really. the, the intention is for the World Event. So they to be some world eventy type stuff going on and then that leading to the kind of introduction of a new boss or bosses to the game um, and then there kind of being a relationship between what's going on in the world events and the bosses and then we've talked about boss fighting they're about about there being a, a different kind of runescapey twist to boss fighting so there are lots of different ideas that we're kind of prototyping at the moment and looking at with some weird stuff to do with different ways you could even collect rewards. It's really quite different. Um, I think it's, uh, it, we would like there to be a bit of a twist on the way that boss fighting is at the moment and maybe give people the ability to influence the boss fight without directly fighting the boss itself. Um, and uh, that's what we'd like to investigate and that, yeah, that's what we'd like to do. Like in a way um, we're kind of creating roles but in a more RuneScape yep. sense. And uh, we've talked about the influence of the gods at the moment in RuneScape and how they will kind of be involved with the players and how they're kind of... Uh, and then what the influence is from Tusker. There's all sorts of stuff that we're talking about at the moment. Um, but we're thinking about it early enough that I'm, I'm pretty confident that we're going to be able to do some good justice to it. Modmark, do you miss Tazima? I don't miss Tazima because I still talk he to him still plays. Week. So there's no like missing him or anything like that because we still chat a lot. Uh, Matt Klein update, please. I'm really not technologically gifted at all. So uh, yeah, Matt Klein, why not? Yeah, totally. And uh, one that came through from the Twitch chat: Have seasonal high scores has gone as well as you have? have no. they gone as well as you expected? No, not at all. Um, we should have known, really, that it would be this kind of situation where um, you, people invest a lot of time and effort when the seasonal high scores first goes live and then people kind of lose um, interest in it. Um, a lot of the stuff, and I talked about this at RuneFest, a lot of the stuff that we want to do with the ComDev team, the new team that are there to sort of support the more community-orientated side of things, I'd like to be able to do some different things to, to, to do with uh, high, um, seasonal high scores. So we talked about the ideas of a kind of like flash seasonal high score where it's kind of like for the next two hours just do this thing and that's the end of it and you're like oh right so it's just like the people that are online at the, time. at the time and right. it is just a bit more involving rather than saying this is sort of two week uh, or, or however long it is like th this is going to last for it's not really right um although it's funnily enough talking about Zazima that's one of the things that he wanted to do was kind of like win each of the seasonal high scores um which I'm not sure he's actively working on that at the moment. Um, what else we got? Update to companion app. We talked about that yeah, earlier. Yeah, we talked about that. So, so a lot, unfortunately, we've done about as much as we feel like we can do right now. Anything else would be a significant development effort. And it's always that question of what do you do? Do you do this or that? And there are a lot more things that we'd rather do than significant work to the companion app. Uh, can, oh, we have there, addition, there we can we have additional uses for the energy gain through divination? That was the intention for, Divina uh, yeah, for Inventor. Inventor. But if we don't do Inventor, whatever we do with the skills will still involve that energy. We know that we want to uh, like get that energy out of the game. Uh, tell us about new Lunar Prayer Spellbook. Um, we've looked at the Lunar Prayers and we realised they're pretty bad um, and we'd like to do some work to it. We've even looked at Livid Farm and the kind of stuff that you have to do there. But um, I don't think there's anyone actively working on it right now. Uh, unless, of course, that's an old school reference. 
James, you sexy elf stripper. Simon's the elf stripper. Uh, apparently that's Simon. <laughs> yeah, that's not me. He, he may well be doing an elven striptease <laughs> in the corner and you wouldn't know. Um, we on, would he, know. What's he doing right now? <laughs> um, he's, he's hiding. <laughs> he's no longer, he's avoiding eye contact. He's chuckling a lot. Um, can you no, both? No. <laughs> no more living. No, no, yeah. no. no yeah, do you ever look back at Limit I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring That's this up. That's totally my this fault. Is, I this said is a, this is a tough one. I right, said I want 30 hours of gameplay, and and uh, it was at least 30 hours work. <laughs> but unfortunately, there wasn't a lot of variety so, there. Simon will tell you the exact I, I, number of hours. How many hours is it, Simon? 46.4. 46. 46. Right. hours apparently. Uh, do you, do did you, you do it? Right, there we go, <laughs> right? So, he may have complained about it, but he did it anyway. <laughs> so, you know, what more needs to be said? <laughs> right, Modbox, do you guys have any plans for a sink of God Wars gear like Bandos and Armadil? Um, we've talked about it. We talked about the idea that those weapons might be ingredients for other weapons. So I, I was trying to read questions for your next um, one. But I, and I don't suddenly go off and and like buy them like crazy because I'm not saying we are doing it it's just one of the things that we talked about can we have a use for fire making to burn down the livid farm <laughs> <laughs> that's a really good idea um, <laughs> do you know a long time ago we came up with a <laughs> with an idea which was called burn for rock um, and the idea was that some people would run around setting fire to rock and other people would put rock out <laughs> using uh, water magic so it's like fire making versus water magic uh, and then we decided that probably that would not be the right thing to do with a really busy city. <laughs> so we made um, Trouble Brewing, yeah. which is about setting fire to each other. There you go. Uh, why is the skill reworking not top priority? Um, ba mainly because um, there are other things that we think we might do with that time. Um, it's, not, uh, it's not something we don't want to do. It's something that we know would be a huge amount of work. Um, and, you know, like I said before, the ideas that we've had with something like Inventor, we could use for reworking skills. Or not necessarily reworking skills, but adding new significant um, reasons to train those skills. And ultimately, that's what we need. I like your t-shirt, by the way. Thank you. It's a love, uh, t two of my loves. Minions, because that's what my little boy likes. Star Wars. And Star Wars, because that's what I like. And it works so well, you know, the idea that <laughs> Jawas, you could imagine it, couldn't you, if a Jawa took its head off, uh, like hood down and it was a minion, and they kind of sound the same. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, one came up here for you, uh, directed at you. In your free time, do you ever go on your J-Mod and troll people? Not as much as I used to. Uh, for some reason in the past, people wouldn't really capture the footage of me trolling them, whereas now, if I do anything, there's like 20 YouTube videos about it straight away. Um, I do like, it. I, lo I like logging in the game and people like trying to follow me around and I jump over rivers and disappear and they're like, Grah! like that always makes me laugh. Um, but I don't do too much trolling anymore. On one of my tubes I do, but there we go. So we talked about prayer books. Um Mod mark for CEO. No, has asked I wouldn't want to do that. With, with a lot of fours in it. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that <laughs> because I wouldn't get you, to concentrate on making design. games. Yeah. yeah, there we go. That, oh no, that was the username of the person who I was going to ask the question. Oh really? <laughs> oh okay. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> would you favour adding a new spell book or existing or adding more spells to existing spell books? Yes, I would. So we would obviously, like I said, we talked about the prayer book. Yeah. So spells as well. You can see yeah, I'd like to do that. Um, I keep. I've, there's this big thing in my head about more skilling orientated content. So like magic um, relating to skilling, <coughs> um, abilities relating to skilling. You know, I, I feel like we've sort of neglected skilling a little bit. Um, last year was very kind of combat and high level focused. Um, and I know that we did a huge amount of skilling updates with um, the Elf City, but it's all quite high level. Is, yeah, um, and I know that for a lot of players, they're like, well, I've already got all those levels. But the, believe me, if you kind of looked at the stats that we did, there are so many players that have like 60s, 70s in skills, you know, total skill level 1700 kind of thing. Um, and it's important that we cater for all of our players. And they might not be the most vocal players, but there are a lot of them. And it's really our job to make sure that those players get up to those higher levels Everyone as needs well. representation. Yeah, exactly. And I, and I feel like next year we need to make sure we give a little bit of love to that kind of players and, 
and more content um, sort of in those kind of uh, 60s, 70s uh, range. I'm not saying that that wouldn't be worthwhile for higher level players to do, but it just got a massive great big elf city and you know, I feel like there's a lot of love there and there'll be the ports content early next year and so you know, there'll be lots of things for people to do. Uh, more stuff for free to play. We're not actively working on anything free to play right now. You know, all of our focus is on the members game as always. Uh, there are lots of questions about interface re there. interface recolouring. Um, what can I say about that? I can feel the tension from the floor above me, even with this subject matter. Um, it's a lot harder than you might think. That's about all I can say. We would love to do it, but it's much harder than you might think. And I'm sure that you've got some very technical people out there that are like, well, it's easy to just reskin this thing, but like, it's I guess not it comes that easy back for us. To, a lot of people maybe sometimes don't realise that RuneScape has been developed for over 14 years yeah. now and it's all built on top of each other yeah. at every level. Yeah, and that's one so of the reasons why it's easier to do new stuff than it is to look back and rework old stuff. A huge number of developers come in and, and, you know, over the years, over the time period, a huge number of developers work on different pieces of content as uh, well. So. No question there, are there going to be more flaws in Dungeoneering? Who knows? There may be. It's possible. 61. Well, Fest, that's the thing, Rune isn't Fest it? 2011, right? Yeah, well, um, there's a lot of storyline there. I would really like to get all the stuff about um, who was down there, which most people know, and uh, how they got Sazima. out. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I remember that was shouted at your speech. Do you remember, do you remember that was shouted I at your do. speech? That was cool. <laughs> For those who don't know, Modmark um, did a speech, like he always does, yes. what's coming ahead in, at RuneFest 2011. And uh, when, when Mark mentioned about who is in floor on floor 61 someone from the crowd shouted Zazima at the top of their voice and everyone had a good laugh about it we all had a good <laughs> laugh about that one um can you do clan related golden gnomes at the next room fest that's a really good idea why not uh another runescape comic um yeah we'd really like to do one and we had some pretty cool ideas with what we wanted to do regarding um the elf city um and there's still a few ideas there to do with um some runescape comics so i don't I wouldn't write it off um, completely. Uh, from the Twitch chat, um, about healing fellow players is limited, especially when we're fighting bosses. Any way to improve healing? Yeah, we, that's something else that we've talked about actually quite a lot with a lot of the um, experimental stuff that we've been doing regarding um, new combat ideas. You have the um, one. You have the one method in Dungeoneering with just the use the food on the yeah, players, which is so. cool. But um, yeah, we we. It's something that we have spoken about. Uh, we always thought that it might be a kind of addition to a prayer skill, or we talked for a, a, lo a long, long time ago about the concept of unarmed combat. Um, there was my kind of pipe dream many years ago about a bard skill where you could kind of buff other players and heal them up with lovely tunes from a lute. Um, but none of those ideas um, worked in exactly the ways that we wanted them to but um healing other players and expanding the concept of healing is something that we have been experimenting with recently we have been experimenting with a lot of things um and it doesn't mean in any way that it is something that we'd be um looking at doing but it's we experiment with stuff all the time uh, one from twitter was about a few i've seen this a few times about the snowboard where we had to keep it after this uh, christmas event um, yeah, you'll be able to, to. I think you can still wear it on your back. Right. Yeah. Cool. Um, will there be a new prayer spell book? Maybe. Uh, Jagex working for the Illuminati. Obviously not, but then if I was, I would say that as well. Um, spells to heal, yeah, people seem to like that. Modmark twerk emo. I have talked to the um, uh, Solomon store guys about that but they don't seem to be in a hurry to make it i don't know why i did see a horrific picture from the real scapers on my twitch uh on my um uh twitter I the other I've day i think i've seen which it which was horrific so thanks for that you <laughs> horrific people um how about more quests based in the wilderness yeah well wilderness is always a tough thing well, we put stuff in the wilderness and everyone hates it 
uh, apart from those people that like to fight people in the wilderness. And then they, those people that go in the wilderness aren't wearing any gear anyway, so they don't really get anything out of it. So you don't really make the wilderness players happy, you don't make everybody else happy, and it's like, well, that doesn't really work then, does we've, it? We've mentioned that you know, there's going to be a few ninja updates that will bring new things to the wilderness. Yep. Do you plan to do a big update with a couple of things all in one? Bottom line is I'm waiting to see oh, you what, what people... Player versus uh, player content next year is yeah, going to come well, down Let's see Rune what Labs. people come, come out with, with Rune Labs. Uh... Okay, here's oh. here's here's one. This is yeah, go on. more very recent feedback. The quiver with the outcasts making it visible. Yes. Do you want to make it visible? Because it's in a slot. It's not visible right now. It's so. an invisible slot. Yeah. Yeah. Where would it be visible? Because if it's on your back, it's like your cape. cape. So you can't render it on top of the cape. You could render it under the cape, but then it would be invisible because it'd be under the cape. <laughs> Guys, where do you want it? <laughs> uh, I don't think it's ever going to work. And I think when we said we'll have a quiver item, we knew that it would be invisible. It's just the way it is. What about adding arrows to it? What, what do you mean? Apparently right now you can't add arrows. No, to so, because it, it occupies your quiver. Yeah. Yeah. Would you consider being able to put arrows in it? No, because it occupies your quiver. <laughs> <laughs> um, the thing about Achievement Diary, uh, we wanted to complete every single slot and then that would be the finished com achievement diary outfit. So at some point we were going to go for the quiver, and we kind of made sense that we would do it with the elves. It makes that's sense. That's it does make sense to do yeah, it with the elves. Yeah. So. There we go. Uh, quiver on your forehead. That is <laughs> that is an interesting idea. Leg side. I, I'm amused by that. On your chaps. Uh, quiver on your middle leg. Yeah. Thanks for that. <laughs> yes. I just got that. That was a bit slow. Um, <laughs> Quiver is only useful for mage and melee, but not for ranged. That's not completely true. Um, it's not as useful to ranged, arguably, um, but it's not useless for ranged. Yeah, Dadan. <laughs> it's, not, it's not useless for ranged. It, no, he, he could probably argue <laughs> that it's not useful for a max level ranger. I would agree with that statement. Um, you can't make everything equally useful to everybody. I always talk about our bank update. When we add, did a bank update and we're like, here is two new rows for your bank and got people complaining about it because they were like, I need a full bank because it's more efficient for me to train this old piece of content with a full bank. So they complained. There we go. Uh, wow, he got my, I did get my joke, apparently. <laughs> when is the Falador rework? I'm not... <laughs> I don't know. Um, people talk about this yeah, because it was something that. that we did a while ago, but um, there's not really... It's, it would be great to do it, but developing it was kind of like a pet project. It was done in some spare time. Testing it is a massive, massive, massive job. It would eat into QA hours. And it would and eat into the testing time that we have for all the other things that we do, and we don't want to do that. I had a bracelet slot, that is something that we considered, but van braces are kind of uh, braces and, you know, it's like gloves, braces. They're kind of like the same space, so it doesn't really work. Can we see, more, can we see any extra bank functions? Presets were a good start. I'd like to see more. Yeah, I'd like to do that. Um, we had a big list of things that we'd like to do to the bank, um, and it may well be that some of those features get realised. Um, I'd, I'd never write that off. Uh, there we go, here's the explanation. Alf cover doesn't need arrows because it's an Alf item. They use crystal weapons and they don't use ammo. So there you go. That, I'm sure, is a good answer. <laughs> that was on Twitter, that. Uh, right, let's just take a few more. Uh, Falador party room, yeah, I'd love to rework that. I do feel like we underuse that and it is one of the things on the list for the um, DevCom team. Rare, rare table rework, it has a rework what yeah, no, this? we're doing that. Ah, okay. Yeah. The rare table. The um, rare table rework. So the, yes. The rare table. Yes. That is being reworked next month. There was the... Um, Fact. Do you remember the brew drop? Do you know when we... How, when did we re <sighs> rework the drop table last? The rare drop table? Uh, say, well, say that's when we put the Ring of Wealth years. in the game. I'm going to say it was a f no, four years ago. We improved the Ring of Wealth, so it glowed. Mm -hmm. We added things like 200 No, well, the first time we like added that. the Ring of Wealth, we reworked the rare drop table. Then when we improved the Ring of Wealth, we reworked the rare drop table. And 
down, we're working on the rare drop table again. So the there was always this like um, notion that because I think it was because on the wiki that you could get the one thousand brew drop for noted. It was like a myth forever. Do you ever remember that myth? You can get like 200 battle staffs noted, there were 100 battle staffs. That's like kind of the, be the better loots on there. But you could get this 1,000 brew drop noted. I think it's someone put it on the wiki. And it was Maybe. Just, and it was just like this myth forever. I thought you could debunk it for us, but I guess. I not. think that <laughs> it's, I there think it's was. I think that we had. There have been a couple of times in the past where there's been a bug where someone got noted, like a huge amount of. Uh, not a huge amount, but a lot, much larger amount of noted items than they should have had. And when we realised it was a bug and we fixed it, it may well be that that, that kind of myth is associated with bugs like that. That's one of the answers. I thought it was 2,500 brews. I can't remember exactly. I got 200 yeah. battle stars at Bandos today. Well, Good there you for go. you, See? Rory. Oh, so yeah, apparently it was 2,500. My memory. Yeah. My memory failing me there. Yeah. I'm a clown, apparently. I'm a clown, Mutt. That's nice, isn't it? Can you please give a permanent free to play for old school? <laughs> no. Uh, when is the construction rework going to be? There's not going to be a construction rework. What I said was there would be, we'd probably add some new stuff um, to the house. To the game world. Uh, well. We know that construction and farming has been under supported, and we'd like to add some more construction to the surface world. Will you let us side with Tusker? I'm not sure why you would want to do that, considering he wants to he consume wants to the you. world. Okay. So I'm going to say that would be pretty foolish. Um, so probably not. <laughs> uh, Modmark hates old school. I definitely don't hate old school. I, I say to people all the time, I don't mind what you play as long as you're having fun doing it. And that... People like classic, people like old school, people like legacy mode, people like revolution, people like full on EOC. Like, it, it, each to their own. It's up to us to make sure that we've got the content there that you want to play. And um, we, we, we mentioned last time that you gave you give ideas to the old school team whenever they want. They, they come and they ask can, me questions. They yeah, we talked about the um, artisan board. skill. We yeah. talked about a few things. You know, oh, we kind of we we've had a bit of laugh actually this week. I know. Um, we've been <laughs> working on a it. bit of a, a laugh uh, for a while. Um, it is all in good fun, and it's kind of there's this kind of spirit in the game where it feels like there's kind of RuneScape uh, versus old school, and there's people like ah, well we do this and you do that and. You know, and we just thought we'd have a bit of a laugh with it, really. So um, I'm sure you'll get to see the results of that quite soon. Um, but yeah, it's all in good fun. Over Christmas. All in good out. fun. Uh, but I definitely don't hate classic. You, you've got to remember, I've been here for a long time. So I was here in 2007. I helped make that game. So I've invested a huge amount of my life in that product already. And in <laughs> classic. So, you know, like... Okay, here's a question. Okay, yeah. it came up in the last old school stream, and I'll uh -huh. ask you as well. Do you know where Big Dave came from? He's an NPC who sits in the fishing guild. Yes. And when you examine him, he says, "It's clear why he has his name," <laughs> and he's called Big Dave. I just wonder, do you know of Big Dave or not? Because obviously we had we had Reach here, Rod Reach, and he was saying, you know, I don't know where that came from, but considering you were involved in the design from fairly early on, I thought you might know. I would guess I can think of two artists that probably would have named that NPC, and I can always ask: Is he bigger? Is he like graphically bigger than the other people there? There's an area. Of this thing, I like see. So. Right? I'm are sorry. you suggesting? <laughs> are you suggest it being in the fishing guild? Are you suggesting that he has a lot of tackle? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, I think that is what you're saying. Yeah? Are you yeah. are you suggesting that he is carrying his catch? Right. Okay. Um, so, um, yes. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I just wondered if, if you knew, maybe. Where, knew where it came from. There right. are a lot. And there nobody, are, nobody knew where it came from. There are a lot of so. references in the game all over the place. Um, if, if, you know, maybe he catches <laughs> big fish, and in order to catch big fish, he needs a big tackle. Like, maybe <laughs> that's just the case. Maybe um, some people, you know, they use maggots, and uh, maybe he doesn't need to. I'm not, I, I don't know. I'm not going to suggest anything more than I already have. Uh, Maybe it's a reference to Dave Osborne. <laughs> Looking for Dave, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> because he has a big head. Maybe it was Big Dave's head, 
and then they had to shorten the NPC name. Maybe for that. <laughs> he's probably he, he's going to hate on me for that. There we go. Um, I guess with that, do you want to do you want to wrap it up or do you want? Why not? Let, okay. Let's take let's take one more. Let's go rapid. Yeah. Tier ninety five weapons. Yeah, that is something we could do, but we've got a lot of other stuff we need to do first. Can you make a tier ninety whip? That eats abyssal whips. Um, yes, we can. There's a, I'm there's sure. There's a 50 second delay. 15, right. 15 second delay. So, guys, put your quick fire questions in the chat now. Uh, and will we'll do level 9001 Ferret of Doom ever be considered for a boss? No, um, but I'm sure that we'd like some Thok content with the Ferret of Doom. More abilities. I'd love to add some skilling abilities. Uh, bot nuke. I think we've done some pretty big stuff with bots. It kind of happens behind the, the scenes as well. Yeah, we don't really talk about. Yeah. Um, I want to know how many of each rare there are in the game. That's not something I want to do. Living firm we work and don't. Uh, I've already talked about that earlier. Uh, will you be logging in after this? I've got to do some video stuff after this. I might log in for a little while. What are your thoughts on Canada? I love Canada. Um, I spent a lot of time there. It's a really lovely place. Uh, practice mode for bosses. Yes, that's something that we want to do. Uh, PvP updates coming. Um, let's see what we get with uh, Rune Labs uh, next year. Can we have 10 action bars? Um, we could have 10 action bars, but um, I think you've probably got enough as it is already. Um, how long will trimmed completionist plates um, cannot wear their ports after, uh, after ports? Um, yeah, that's something we're talking about. So we'll probably have an amnesty where we say we'll add the ports um, completionist cape stuff in a few months' time. So if you worked really hard, you'd be able to earn it before we put the requirements in. in. That's the kind of thing we've talked about. Um, it's quite a popular suggestion on the forums. Uh, 07, uh, free to play, no plans for that. Uh, more combat abilities, I mean, choose from to be more diverse. We'd like to add more combat abilities, I agree. New div locations. Uh, uh, new div locations. Uh, maybe mid-tier div locations would make sense um, for the higher tiers. Specifically, a bit like what we did with um, the uh, Gothic's reward thing. Uh, 120 emotes. Um, I think the cape's probably enough. Um, a lot of people asking about 10 action bars. Yeah. Same um, five isn't <coughs> enough. I've seen us before a few times. On yeah, the films, well, we can look at it. Uh, thanks. Yeah, thanks to you. Thanks for your questions. I've been quite awesome. impressed, actually, because the stream's been pretty clean um, with that's, a minimal amount of hamburger references, which I am pleased about. Um, so thanks for that. Uh, Minigame stat, yeah, that's something we could do, but I'm not quite sure what it would do. Holsters would require lots of guns, and we don't want to put lots of guns in the game. Uh, how big is Big Dave? Um, he's, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, <coughs> big tackle, that's all. <coughs> yeah, exactly. Some people need You've got about tackle. five more seconds before, before Camera you're last. faster, I, I don't think we need that. Uh, more things for skillers. I totally agree I'd like to do that. Um, more action bars. Yeah, I'm, I can hear a lot of your stuff about action bar now. Uh, and now you're all being There we Egypt. go. I told you, I told you. Ten, right. yeah, like ten Thanks seconds. Thanks very there. much. Uh, that's I guess done. Say, yeah, so guys, thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Mark. No for worries. For joining us. <laughs> I, I, it's always a pleasure to, to get you on another channel. That was good fun. I enjoyed that. Um, yeah. Uh, just personally for me, um, happy Christmas and Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Um, I'm off now uh, for a couple of weeks to have a bit of a break, which I think I've deserved. So I'll see you all in the new year. But I'll have my laptop with me. I'll be popping into the game. So you might see you might see out. out. Yeah. Um, huge thank you for all your questions on Twitter and in the Twitch chat. And uh, like I said, keeping it clean. Uh, and, and engaging, yeah. engaging with Mark as well yeah. been really cool you've impressed me thanks very make much make sure you follow the tw uh, RuneScape Twitch channel down in the bottom right just below the player to be notified on these kind of streams that when they happen in the future um, happen fairly often these days yes and then have a very Merry Christmas from I guess from a lot of us yeah there's, there's yep. some cool videos and stuff to be going out over the yes. Christmas period more bacon yes more bacon yeah there's some great great uh, videos going out over the Christmas period so yes YouTube channel as well. Make sure you, you subscribe yep. over there and check those out. But uh, thanks very much. Thanks again, Mark. Bye.